New principal owner and chairman Sheila Hemp will look to make her own lane when it comes to improving the leadership of this organization. YouTube, you don't need to clock no time in this. It's Pride Time. And today we want to talk about Sheila Hemp and what her new role is going to mean for this team going forward. Now, a couple of days ago on Detroit Lions YouTube channel, they did pro post an introductory uh, conference meeting between Sheila Hemp and some of Detroit Media's press. And they did a great job at asking some really good questions, some tough questions. And Sheila Hemp did a great job at answering those questions. And she did not shy away from some of the tough questions. Now, there was an issue I had with the question concerning Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia, but that was to be expected. And I'll talk about that later on. So, just a few things that I wanted to hit on that I saw in that introductory conference call. Um, I like the fact that she wanted to learn more about the departments in the organization. You know, I feel like Martha Ford, uh, obviously being the owner of the team, was just the face of the team. I don't know how much involved she was with how everything was ran. I don't know, you know, if she made all the calls when it comes to all the important decisions to be made. But I feel like Sheila, she wants to learn more about football and the organizations, different departments in the organization, such as like the scouting teams, uh, the analytics department, uh, all the whole top in and out of the department. She want to know that way she can make better informed decisions and not just be a face and, uh, you know, seek the advice of other people. She wants to have some kind of input on what's done and I like that aspect. Also, uh, we learned that the Fords actually hate to lose. Um, that's surprising, uh, especially with her mother Martha and her uh, deceased father, uh, William Clay. We never really saw or heard anything from them as, you know, you know, the fact that the Lions have not been a winning organization. Um, the Lions have been known to be cheated on multiple occasions. We never heard them come out and say anything. So we were all we were only to expect that the Fords, you know, do they really care? Do they really hate to lose? I hate to lose. If you've seen any of my old videos, uh, many rants. I'm a very competitive person by nature. I hate to lose. And I love this team. And I want to see this team do good. And for us to go six decades and be deprived of a Super Bowl, even hell, a Super Bowl appearance, it's very frustrating. And uh, I, lo I love to hear the fact that she does care and that the Ford family does care about winning. We just need to see it. So maybe that'll be something new that we'll see with the new leadership in Sheila. All right. Uh, another thing I took from it and that I like. She says she's going to make herself more available for, you know, at the game press, um, you know, events or whatever. So we never got to really see William or Martha at the games. Uh, I, I, I think that's a very important thing. We need to see your energy. We need to see how you feel. You know, we need to see where your mind is, what you got working in the background. You know, I feel like it's easy for the Fords to you know, take their ball and go home and not really have to answer to nobody. I love the fact that she's going to, you know, put herself out there and 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 to be scrutinized pretty much because we know the Detroit media, especially at the losses, you know, they they aren't so forgiving. They aren't so kind. And I like the fact that she's not shying away from that. Uh, now, like I said before, the thing I didn't like about the press conference was the whole tap dancing around the Matt Patricia and Bob Quinn situation. Now, we all know that Martha Ford put out a statement last year saying that the Detroit Lions would need to be competitive, that they would need to, uh, a lot of people thought that they needed to either make the playoffs or be in playoff contention. It didn't really say exactly what, you know, the ex expectations were. But they kind of put it up there in the air for you to, you know, make your own decision about it. And, you know, Sheila, she didn't do a great job 
at at standing on it and um, being bold in what she actually meant. Uh, Sheila Ford, I mean Sheila Hemp, went on to say that there needed to be major improvement. Well, the major improvement isn't. What does that mean? The Detroit Lions went three twelve and one. So if they go and win eight games, that's major improvement. You know, we need to know exactly where where you stand on, you know, where, where do you think the Lions should be? She said that the Lions are a very competitive team and she thinks that we can compete with the best of them. So if that's the case, then you should have very high expectations of Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia, which I do believe she have. But I think she's kind of leaving it up in the air for them to, you know, maybe not have the season that she's hoping and will keep them around. Now, if she wants to keep them around, fine. You know, I'm cool with it. You know, if you if you want to give them four years, that's cool with me. But just say it. Don't just tap dance around it. But, you know, it's, it's expected. She's new and with the franchise as being the owner. And I expect her to be more bold in her statements and her... Uh, opinions as we go forward but overall like i said i like the um i like the mindset she said a lot of good things but you know those are just her words i need to see the action behind it i need to see the constant improvement in her involvement with this team for me to really get 100 percent behind it but right, for right now i got she got my support uh i know she got the support of a lot of y'all and uh we're gonna see what happens man the, with this whole COVID situation going on, I don't even know if it's going to be a season. But if it is, I look to see that the Lions are are going to be progressing from week to week. And that by the end of the season, we should be where we, we want to be, hopefully. But that's all I got for this video, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments, man. It's prior time. I'll see y'all in the next video.